Good morning class. So yesterday in chapter 15 that is clean and safe water we covered water pollution and in this we learned that if anything that makes water dirty if uh, or some impurities are being added to the water then that water is known as water pollution that process is known as water pollution and we even learned about the ways to control water pollution like we should not urinate in rivers we should not wash our clothes or we should not throw our waste or plastic bottles in or polythenes or wrappers in the river or seaside and we should control the use of fertilizers and pesticides. Other than this, what we covered was the potable water. Potable water means the water that is fit for drinking. That means it is germs free and the potable water is clean. It is odorless, colorless and tasteless. Odorless means it is not having any smell. But contaminated or dirty water will be having some smell. And we even learned that to remain healthy, we must drink 8 to 10 glasses of water. Now, coming to storing portable water. Page number 104, the next topic is storing portable water. Even after purifying the portable water, it needs to be stored carefully to avoid making it impure again. Now potable water, that means that's a clean water. Now agar ap clean water ko achche se carefully stored nahi karenge, what will happen? It will again get dirty, impurities, dust particles, everything will be there in the water and it will again become dirty water. So, storing is very important. It should not be stored for too long. Agar aapko lagta hai ki aap ek pani, clean water ko, potable water ko, you can store it for a week. No, it will start smelling. And it's not safe for drinking. Keep the containers covered. So, obviously, you must have seen your moms, your dad, they are covering the water. Right? It is not open. The container in which or the vessels, utensils in which the water is stored. Jis bhi bartan mein, balti mein, jahaan pe bhi paani wo store karte hain, peene ka, wo usko dhak ke rakte hain. That's covered. Why? So that germs are not there. Use a long handle ladle to take out water. Long handle ladle means... You must have seen that in matki or ghada, your grandparents or mothers must be using some glass that is having a long stick attached to it. That's called a ladle. So you must use that so that your hands are not dipped in water and the water does not get contaminated or dirty. Make sure that your fingers are not dipped in the drinking water. Nobody will feel like drinking it. If I offer you a glass of water where I have dipped my finger, would you like eating it? No. So, do not dip water in drinking water and always use a long handle ladle to take out the water and keep it covered. Now, Knowledgepedia says, page number 105, drinking impure water causes certain diseases gastrointestinal means pet se related disease ho jati hai like typhoid dysentery food poisoning jaundice and hepatitis right ye sari bimariyan gande pani se hoti hain so avoid drinking dirty water granny says always fill only three fourth part of the glass with water before serving so that why three fourth because it will save water. Keep the lid of the bottle closed. Lid means dhakkan, band rakhye. And glasses of water covered with coasters to avoid dust and germs to fall in it.
right coasters are the small covers you your parents must be using it your moms must be knowing about it to cover the water then you can underline this knowledge pedia that what diseases are caused typhoid dysentery food poisoning jaundice and hepatitis now coming to conservation of water conservation means saving water bachana water is essential for life but the amount of water is limited on the earth right using water wisely and carefully is the only way to conserve water now you know that water is very important for our life can you imagine a day without drinking water no we cannot imagine a day without water so we need water whether it's winters or summers we are drinking water you can see that how much your parents or your mother or your maids are intention if there is no water in the house can your mother cook food without water no can your utensils be washed can your clothes be washed no so for everything you need water so water is very very important and the amount of water on this earth is very limited so we should not waste water rather we should think of ways to save it so hame pani ko barbaad nahi karna hai hame ways dhoondne hai ki hum kaise pani ko bacha sake using water wisely and carefully is the only way to conserve water wisely means samajhdari se taking intelligent steps to prevent water pollution is another important way to maintain the water level water is precious it is important to save it and use it judiciously judiciously means bahut soch samajh ke wisely the wise and judicious use of water is called water conservation so how you can conserve water there are certain ways and water conservation means water ko bahut soch samajh ke istemal karna so underline this line the wise and judicious use of water is called water conservation so the ways to save water is first one water recycling cleaning contaminated water for reuse then water recycling contaminated water for reuse means jo ganda pani hai usko aap dobara use kar lijiye suppose your mother is washing the vegetables or fruits so you can use that water dirty water for watering your plants so that's the reuse of dirty water next is rain water harvesting now rain water harvesting means storing rain water in wells and bore wells now here you can see what is rain water harvesting now in this picture you can see that when the rain is coming down you can see the blue pipes so through that blue pipes the water tank is maintained underground underground zameen ke niche ek water tank maintain hai aur pipe ke through ye barish ka pani in tanks mein collect ho raha hai it is getting collected in this tank and then it is used for irrigation right irrigation means kheti ke liye aur for watering the plants we can use that water so rather than wasting the rain water we are storing it so that is rain water harvesting watershed development storage of water in tanks you can develop some tanks where you can store water controlling water pollution obviously you have to control water pollution because if you are polluting the water then you will not have water to drink 
So save water and stop polluting it. Keeping the water bodies clean when you are going. See in this picture if you see. In the second picture on the top you can see that lot of dirt is there near the river. You can see the plastic bottle, wrappers, everything is there. So rather than throwing these things there, it is always better to use dustbin for these things. So if you are making the water bodies dirty, it is going to affect the aquatic life also. So keep the water bodies clean. Water bodies means rivers, seas, ocean. You have to make them clean. So what are the ways of conserving water? First one, cleaning contaminated water for reuse, rainwater harvesting, then maintaining the tanks to store the water, controlling water pollution and keeping the water bodies clean. Now let's read and recall. Water bodies are home to several aquatic plants and animals. Home means बहुत सारे प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स पानी में रहते हैं वाटर पोल्यूशन अफेक्ट्स द लाइफ ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स वेरी ट्रू वाटर दैट इज सेफ फॉर ड्रिंकिंग इज कॉल्ड द पोर्टेबल वाटर वी कैन मेक द ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सेफ बाय बॉइलिंग क्लोरिनेशन एंड फिल्ट्रेशन सेफ जुडिशियस यूज ऑफ वाटर इज कॉल्ड वाटर कंजर्वेशन राइट So children in this chapter what all things you have learned in this chapter we have learned water pollution and steps to control water pollution then we have studied different ways of purifying the water what are the what is the term potable water you learned about that how the potable water needs to be stored then the ways to save water right so that is all this is the rain water harvesting thank you